It is rather surprising to believe a 52-year-old man who is not physically fit happened to be the owner of one of the most famous brands in the world, McDonald's, though not founded by him. Even though Kroc passed away 30 years ago, sales gurus on LinkedIn, self-proclaimed leadership experts, and aspiring marketers continue repackaging his accomplishments dutifully. Ray Kroc's victory stories are sung in American business schools and boardrooms. The golden arches glimmer in thousands of cities on six continents in the world. Ray Kroc was a hero who revolutionized the fast food industry. His mastermind of the franchise made McDonald's the most famous and recognizable brand. This video brings you the incredible story of Ray Kroc, how he revolutionized fast food and became the owner of McDonald's. Ray Kroc, the founder and builder of McDonald's Corporation, proved himself an industrial pioneer no less capable than Henry Ford. He revolutionized the American restaurant industry by imposing discipline on the production of hamburgers, french fries, and milkshakes. McDonald's. We were looking for a new franchising agent, and Kroc saw an opportunity. He established the forerunner of the McDonald's Corporation, McDonald's System Inc., in 1955. Six years later, he acquired the McDonald's brand and operating system exclusive rights. Alongside Martin Luther King Jr., Reinhold Neighbor, and Abraham Maslow, Esquire nominated Ray Kroc to a list of 50 individuals who impacted American culture in the 20th century in an article by renowned chef Jacques Pepin. Time named him one of the 100 most significant individuals of the 20th century. McDonald's brothers introduced the speedy service system for preparing hamburgers, and Kroc maintained them. He made sure that every burger tasted the same in every restaurant. The McDonald brothers made hamburgers and fries as Henry Ford did for cars. The process was made simple, so they could quickly, cheaply, and consistently churn out food. The book of Kroc writing it out shows how he made McDonald's as it is now. He also tells the challenges he faced in the process. He said in his book that becoming successful can happen at any age or time, and there's no need to be a prodigy. His grinding it out is routinely suggested as recommended reading for salespeople and wannabe entrepreneurs. On October 5, 1902, Raymond Albert Kroc was born in Oak Park, Illinois, a Chicago neighborhood. He was the eldest son of Louis Kroc and Rose. His father was an employee in the Western Union Telegraph Company, and his mother was a homemaker who taught piano and made extra earnings. Kroc also had an interest in piano like his mother. Kroc was a daydreamer. His parents sometimes called him Danny Dreamer. In his book Grinding Out, he pointed out that his daydreams were not wasted, and he had utilized his dreams to come true. While in grammar school, he started his career by doing business with a lemonade stand. After that, he ran a music store with two friends, but they have to shut the store after some time. He served customers in his uncle's soda fountain selling ice cream and other refreshments. He has also written in his book that one can influence people with a smile and enthusiasm and sell them a sundae when they have come for a cup of coffee. After his school, he became a door-to-door -door salesman. World War I came and wanted to become a Red Cross ambulance driver. But before he could go to Europe to serve in the war, the war ended. He was 17 and again started his job as a salesman and played the piano to make an extra income. He married Ethel Fleming in 1922. After marriage, he started selling paper cups and running a Chicago radio station. Then he turned to real estate in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. However, by 1927, he had returned to peddling paper cups. After a while, in 1938, Kroc began selling. Five milkshakes might be mixed at once using a brand new product. He started selling multi-mixer and formed his own company, Prince Castle Sales. He faced many hardships and World War II stopped his sales. But after the war, he could sell 8,000 mixers. Ray Kroc started his career as a salesman. He always took advantage of opportunities that were offered to him. He met with McDonald's brothers Richard and Maurice, who ran a California hamburger restaurant. But when an opportunity came to Kroc, who made McDonald's one of the most famous fast food restaurants in the world. And then he wanted to learn to drive an ambulance and went to a school in Connecticut. He had a friend who lied about his age to get into Walt Disney. Kroc asked him to open a McDonald's in Walt Disney when it was open, but that effort failed. He came to know about McDonald's, which sold hamburgers in California. He wanted to see it alone as he could not believe a restaurant could sell that many milkshakes. There, he met people who came to dine there, and they told him they were happy about the inexpensive hamburger and fries and that they often come to McDonald's to enjoy it. He was also astonished to see the McDonald's brothers selling the food quickly and at a much cheaper rate. Also, he came to know that they had five mixers that ran without stopping. 
Ray Kroc met the two brothers at McDonald's and discussed how to expand their business chain on a wider scale. The brothers were not ready to accept such an idea. Kroc prompted them that they could engage someone to run the business for them. They asked Kroc how they could find a person to run the chain. He immediately responded, what about me? This very word paved the way for Ray Kroc to lead to the foundation of McDonald's Corporation. When such a big deal happened, Kroc was 52 years old. His health was already bad and he also had diabetes and arthritis. His marriage life could have been better. He divorced his wife Ethel in 1961 and remarried again. But he was strong in his mind and convinced himself that the best was ahead of him. He opened the first McDonald's in Des Plaines, Illinois. He slowly started opening more restaurants. The system in McDonald's was that each employee was given only one job. Kroc also followed the pattern. He aimed to have consistent quality, speed, and service at McDonald's. Kroc made sure that the restaurants were also kept clean. He wanted to have control over the franchises. The franchises were given one store to ensure they ran it the way they wanted. He ensured that the franchises also did well and were indeed a success. Money began to flow from the sales. Kroc did not allow the franchises to sell at higher prices and trained them in the McDonald's method. He also treated the franchises as equal partners of the company. It must mention that the salesmanship he mastered from his uncle's soda fountain brought him this fortune. He was able to convince customers they wanted what he sold. He poured money into advertisements, especially on television. He introduced the company's mascot, Ronald, in 1965, and this mascot was familiar to 96% of American children even though they didn't know the name of the American president. Ray Kroc gave $2.7 million to McDonald's brothers as their share, bought McDonald's company, and made it Kroc's company. He began to sell stock in the company, and over the years, his share in McDonald's brought him plenty of money. His daughter Marilyn had diabetes, which had expired in 1971. He started to do research in diabetes, arthritis, and sclerosis and started a company called Kroc Foundation. He shared his wealth with others. On his 70th birthday, he gave 8 million McDonald's dollars to his top employees. He also donated food and money to many charities. His best-known charity is the Ronald McDonald houses he built near the hospitals so families can stay free when their children undergo medical treatment. Kroc was a fan of baseball. So in 1974, his attention was turned to baseball from fast food. He bought the San Diego Padres. In 1984, San Diego Padres made the World Series for the first time, but the sad part was that he did not live to see it. At the age of 81 on January 1984, he passed away. His third wife, Joanne, took charge of his charitable work after his death. She donated millions of dollars to San Diego organizations. She donated $50 million to Ronald McDonald's Children McDonald's Charities, which were founded in honor of Kroc. While expanding his fast food industry, he also got support from his employees. Fred Turner, who opened McDonald's and Des Plaines, started working in Kroc's corporate office. He introduced many McDonald's products, mainly Chicken McNuggets. Fred also helped open new restaurants and checked on franchises to see whether they opened them correctly. He gradually became the chairman and chief executive officer in 1977. The Founder is a movie that shows the real story of Ray Kroc. It was directed by John Lee Hancock and written by Robert Siegel. Michael Keaton stars as Ray Kroc. It describes how he founded the McDonald's fast food restaurant franchise and used cunning ruthlessly to coerce the company's founders into taking over. Richard and Maurice McDonald, co-founded by Nick Offerman and John Carroll Lynch, Joan Smith, Ray Kroc's third wife, and Harry J. Sonborn, president and CEO of McDonald's, are played by Linda Cardellini and B.J. Novak, respectively. Ray Kroc left a message to us, nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts.